I'm Daniel Davis. And I'm Letitia Brown Gambino. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in this housing security challenge. UMOM has been a leader in preventing and ending homelessness for hundreds of thousands of people in Maricopa County for nearly 60 years. It's all we do. And we have a reputation in the community and nationally for being experts in this work. As rents continue to skyrocket here, lower income earners find it harder to afford the average apartment. There just isn't enough affordable housing in the Valley. And landlords changed their screening criteria since the eviction moratorium was put into place at the beginning of the COVID pandemic, fearing they would not have recourse if their tenants didn't pay, making the tight housing market here even more challenging. COVID turned a bad problem worse. Worse for people like Kelly and her two kids who lost their home when Kelly's mom died. With a prior eviction on her credit, finding a safe rental was impossible. We had been trying, but nobody was willing to work with me here. And then all the apartments anyways, their rent amount was ridiculous, you know what I mean? So as I was just struggling, you know, doing here and there jobs, it wasn't gonna make it anyways. So it was like, I felt, I felt like, it, like I, I just, I couldn't win for losing, you know what I mean? And so that's what, it was, it was a while, it was months, it was like six, seven months we were out there struggling, yeah. Kelly's story is unfortunately common. Not only is rent too expensive, people with evictions or poor credit and facing racial discrimination have a hard time finding a place to live. Black and Native American individuals are disproportionately affected by homelessness, while Black residents make up only 6% of Maricopa County's population. They account for 25% of the population experiencing homelessness. There are 90,000 more low-income families in the Valley than there are apartments. Most new construction is for luxury housing, too expensive for someone making minimum wage. So we asked landlords what might help them relax their leasing requirements for clients like Kelly. Their response was clear. A one-time signing bonus equal to one and a half times the monthly rent. Landlord incentives, paired with supportive services to get people experiencing homelessness into long-term housing is working in places such as San Diego and Seattle, where rents are much higher than they are here. It will work in the Phoenix area, and it can be scaled and replicated in communities throughout Arizona. So if we can build a very holistic, robust financial incentive package to wrap around these participants, in addition to the case management that is wrapped around them, uh, we think that that will uh, really bring landlords to the table. We have a, a huge housing shortage in Arizona in general, and the uh, affordable housing is almost non-existent. And yet the homeless population and the population in need is growing day by day. And so we're trying to solve two problems at once. And one is creating affordable housing for tenants and people in need, and the other is creating a balance of income generation for an owner. Homelessness is traumatic, especially for children, thousands of whom arrive at UMOM each year with their families. The sooner we can get them into a home and provide support, the better it is for them, and landlords can potentially get a long-term loyal tenant. Our goal is to remove tenant screening barriers for 125 families and get them into housing two weeks faster than now. That is two weeks those families don't have to live in their cars or sleep on the streets. That means space in our emergency shelters to serve more families. I believe in second chances. The thing we liked about the program is they stand behind the tenant. So it gives us a little comfort in giving people second chances and then you know, if something goes wrong, we have somebody standing behind them, so it, it just helps us out a lot. With the uncertainty of the eviction moratorium expiring, we know it's going to get worse. Experts say it could get twice as bad as it was during the Great Recession. We can't predict how many families will lose their homes in the next year, but we can use this program to expand access to affordable housing to help as many of those families as possible helping them find a place to call home and keep them in their home long-term. That is UMOM's goal, our mission, our dream for the future. With this program, 
we will be one day closer to ending homelessness in our community. Thank you.